<laughs> All right, you saw the thumbnail, baby. We're talking about Black Asta here and why you should prepare for him in global. Black Asta. The one and only black character in all the black- Oh, sh oh shoot! I forgot about you! Tick 2, alright. Black Asta. The GOAT. The idol that we all strive to be. The unit that we all were very hyped for about and then he came out and everyone's very mixed about him. I don't, I don't think there's a more diverse unit than Black Asta, honestly. You either hate him or love him. But, I'm here to- tell you that he is worth it and then you in the comments will tell me how stupid I am and that Black Asta sucks because y'all hate me. Alright so let's go over Black Asta real quick before we dive in on how to prepare for him. So let's take a look at his ultimate skill right now. His ultimate skill is called Black Meteorite which was a great scene in the anime. This delivers a blow with the energy of anti-magic and if anti-magic is present on self, attack after dispelling barriers of the enemy. If anti-magic is not present, inflict taunt on the enemy for two turns. And this is a single target ability. Now, you notice how it says if anti-magic is present. Asta has a really good passive right here that all about if he has anti-magic present. Let's go over his passive to see what I'm talking about, and this is why he's so controversial as well. So his LR passive is this. If HP is equal to or lower than 40%, apply anti-magic to self. If HP is above 40%, remove anti-magic from self. Anti-magic per 1500 defense grant 15% damage increase and immunity to status elements. This is why Black Asta is so controversial because of this 40%. He's not like Julius or Noel where you can just throw it on to the team and you can just one shot everyone. You have to actually work and strategize with Black Asta, which some people don't really like. I am not one of those people though, which I'll explain later. And the other thing about this, some people think it's insane you need to be 40% because by then Black Asta, they said, is probably going to die. Now, the one thing about this that everyone keeps saying, and this is the probably a change I can agree with, is to change this to 50% HP because once you're down to 40%, it's pretty easy to get ganged up on and just overall, in real time PvP arena, everyone's gonna know to just try to shut down that Black Asta before he can even start to do damage because once the Black Asta gets this passive, oh, oh, oh my gosh. As we can see, when Black Asta gets his anti-magic, he is kinda a beast and a 1v4 king. That's why there's so many videos about, oh my gosh, Black Asta, 4v1, no team required. And that's the thing is that a lot of people kinda wanted Black Asta be like more like Julius and Noel, where they can are just doing a lot of damage without really needing any kind of support or like to get to a certain threshold. And that's the thing about Black Asta is that he needs to have specific units with him or needs some kind of specific unit to help him out because Black Asta is not just someone you can slap a team on with and then expect him to do crazy good. He's classified as a tank which a lot of people wanted him to be classified as an attacker. So until he gets his anti-magic passive he's not going to be doing crazy amount of damage or one-shotting teams like Julius and Noel can. 
However, that's not to say Black Ops is bad. Keep in mind, this game is a turn-based strategy RPG, and I like Black Ops because he's all about strategy. So, do you want to use Black Ops as like your defender, or would you rather try to make him your DPS by trying to play risky, getting him low? Luckily, there are units to help Black Asta out, and some of those are already out in Global right now, and this is how you can prepare for Black Asta in Global. Alright, so currently in Global right now, we have the Julius and Noel banner, though maybe when this video is uploaded, the Noel banner will be over, but you've probably got Noel off the gate key, so you should have a Noel. These two would be really good to help out Black Asta. The reason that being, Noel can function as both an attacker and a support thanks to her barrier ability. This barrier can really help Black Asta once he means that 40% threshold. This is going to make sure Black Asta stays alive, and if you want to play a little bit risky, if Asta's already 40% HP, you can pop the Blessing of Water onto Asta and he will counterattack, and then the enemy team is going to get baby tapped. Julius just overall is a really good unit, and he can function as the attacker with the team, because keep in mind, Black Asta is still classified as a tank, so he's going to be targeted a lot, he's going to be tanking a lot, and Julius can wreck up the damage while Black Asta is trying to meet that 40% threshold in order to get his anti-magic. The other unit was a unit I actually talked about in my previous video, Golden Dawn Uno. So even though they're probably not going to make the changes I listed in the video on how they can fix Uno, hashtag watch it up here, Anyway, Yuno is still a really good unit to be paired up with Black Asta because if Yuno is classified as a debuffer, and as a debuffer, he can initiate a total silence and normal silence onto enemies. This can really help Black Asta to help stay light and avoid heavy hitting attacks that can really cripple him, such as Julian skill 2, or something like getting clapped because the enemy team decided to run full vault host and Fenro team and they keep buffing before Black Asta even gets a turn. You know, overall will be really good, and assuming they did make the changes for Global with you know how to make him better, he would be an amazing unit to be paired up with Black Asta. And also, he's red, so you know, Black Asta's red because the other unit we gotta talk about is also red. Introducing the Witch Queen! No matter what you do, if you plan to run Black Asta, you need to pull on the Witch Queen banner. There's no if, ands, or buffs about that. Witch Queen synergizes very well with Black Asta because of Witch Queen's ultimate ability. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so the only really thing we need to focus here is the fact her ultimate grants 50% lifesteal to all allies for two turns, and sets the HP of one ally with the highest defense to 30% max HP. Now, what this does is whoever has the highest defense will have only 30% HP left, and Black Asta, in order to activate his passive, he needs to be below or at 40% HP. This really makes the two a great pair, because Black Asta will have the highest defense on your team, unless you're also running a Mars, but why are you running two tanks on the same team? And so, Black Asta's likely gonna get that, because let's take a look at Black Asta's defense right now. Alright, Black Asta without any gear at level 100, LR, he has around 6k defense. Now, you give Black Asta purely defense, he's gonna definitely have the most defense out of the team. Synergizing with Witch Queen's passive, and also not to mention, Black Asta will get lifesteal for two turns. So, once you're at 30% HP, you do his AoE ability, which is Black Hurricane, and this is an AoE ability, so Black Asta's gonna do heavy lifesteal because he's attacking everyone, and also he'll have anti-magic, so he'll dispel barriers, so... Radies and Noel ain't gonna survive, and also, if he has a skill phase, he'll be granted all allies total defense for two turns. So, not only will he have lifesteal, not only is he gonna do crazy damage because of his anti-magic passive, but he's also gonna heal back up to 100% most likely because he's doing an AoE ability at really high damage and taking away barriers. This is a deadly combo. This is why you always see Witch Queen with Black Asta in JP right now, and why Witch Queen is a necessity for you to pull on. If you don't want to pull on Yuno, that's fine, but you're gonna need to pull on Witch Queen. So that does it as far as units you definitely should try to aim for for Black Asta. But let's go over what else you're gonna need for Black Asta. The most important thing in this game is Black Crystals, and you are gonna need a lot of them for Black Asta. Just to be safe, you should have 47,000 Black Crystal by the time Black Asta arrives. The reason why you're going to need that much is because you are limited on how many times you can pull on his banner. So, if you do not get his skill page, you are screwed because his skill page is really good. You're going to need it because it gives him total defense 
which helps him survive when he's at 40% HP. Now in JP, they released this thing where you can buy the skill split page straight up just by spending 20,000 black crystals. Now, this is very important to keep in mind as a free-to-play. Because as a free-to-play, you could potentially, you know, have the 24,000 crystals that you need to do 200 pulls to get a guaranteed pity Black Asta. Heck, you may even get multiple copies of Black Asta, but you may not get that skill page and then your Black Asta is going to be far worse than other Black Astas that have that skill page. So, as a free-to-play, you should have 47,000 crystal because of the off chance you do not get the skill page. You can still buy it and your Black Asta won't be screwed. You need to save your crystals for this. You do not want to miss out and get screwed over by RNG because then you are going to be mad that your Black Asta isn't tanky and is getting baby tapped by Julius and Noel. Now that's just to be safe having 47,000 crystals. You really are going to need is enough for 200 pulls which is around 24,000 crystals or 27,000 I can't remember for the life of me because I am an idiot. But anyway, you need to have at least that much. Maybe you'll get lucky and pull the skill page and then you'll be good and you don't have to buy it. But 47,000 is what you roughly want to save amount. And you may say, oh I'm free to play, how am I supposed to save? Uh, Black Asa is not coming out for at least a couple months. They are not going to make Black Asa come out in like the next month or something. We have multiple seasons to go before he comes out. So you have time to save and this is what you should do in order to prepare for Black Asa. Otherwise you may be screwed and you may get unlucky in your summon and not get the skill page and you won't have enough black crystals to get it so make sure you save your black crystals do not try to pull on all banners after the julius banner there's not much to really pull on besides witch queen if you're trying to aim to run a black asta team you know is more of a luxury unit to run with black asta but you definitely need witch queen try not to go for pity on her so save your summon tickets for Witch Queen, and then save your Black Crystals for Asta, because remember, Black Asta does not take summon tickets. Black Asta has his own unique tickets that you must buy. That's why you need 24,000 crystals in order to buy enough for 200 summons. So those are the basic things to do to prepare for Black Asta. I could go over gears and talents and other stuff, but there's already videos out there like Geeku's video who can give you an idea what gears and talents to um, start saving. Plus, you should already know from the previous banners, Julius and Noel, how, how to prepare for a unit, just, you know, farm XP, gear, etc. And so, yeah, that is all that you're gonna really need to focus on when it comes to Black Asta. Last thing to say, if you think Black Asta sucks or he's not worth it and everything I said here is pretty dumb, um, that's cool and all. But this is what you should do if you do want to run Black Asta because Black Asta is still Black Asta. He's the GOAT, so let's be honest on that. Overall, um, this was also pretty fun to make. Um, thank you as well for the love and support on the Uno you know video. I'm so happy my editing and stuff really got the recognition it deserved. And I hope this one also does something similar. So yeah, um, I gotta think of what I gotta do for my next video. I'm thinking of doing something like what I did with you know, or trying to make a different video of like, you know, how to prepare for this or that. But overall, I'm glad you like it. I know I said I was gonna go over like how to fix Black Gaza, but honestly, I think he's in a good spot besides just maybe changing that passage to be 50%. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that so far and uh I'll be ending this with a meme, so enjoy this, and I am ready to be cancelled. Bye! Great! Plan B! Uh, huh? This is for everyone you've killed! Eat lead, murderer! Hold your fire! This man isn't black! What?